What is going on guys and girls, it is Ghost Robo and welcome to an incredibly epic Evolve video. You are staring at Behemoth himself, the fourth monster has descended upon us and I am bringing you my own gameplay playing as the gigantic juggernaut with the crazy tongue. We're picking our powers, we're putting our perk in place, and we are ready to rumble. If you are excited for Behemoth or the other tier 4 hunters, make sure to hit that like button. I will bring you all the coverage and give you all the details on these guys, because I've played all of them. But I figured we would start with the big one, the new monster, Behemoth. I have to say, I think this guy is the most unique, the most interesting, the most fun monster to play as, but he's also probably the most difficult, and we'll get into that later on in the video. But this guy comes packed with four powers. He's got Rock Wall, he's got Lava Bombs, he's got a long slapping tongue, and he has his fourth ability, which is Fissure, um, a big ground smash that lets out an earthquake of lava and pain. He is slow moving and he can roll around like Sonic. We're playing on one of the new maps, Broken Hill Mines. Um, I was playing against some other YouTubers and Twitch streamers, uh, going against the likes of my brother, Swifter, uh, Prodigy, um, playing against some people from Turtle Rock Studios. We played some games with Chris Ashton. It was a great time to learn these guys uh, and figure out what they're all about. Behemoth is all about Getting out of there quick. If you get spotted at level one, you are in deep, deep trouble. So I'm doing everything I can to stay stealthy and try and snack up before the hunters drop in so that they're not able to get an early drop. There is your first look at his roll ability. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog meets a gigantic glutton, but once he gets going, he is pretty quick. I would say that Behemoth can cross the map faster than any other monster. In spite of his slow normal walking speed, his slow normal climbing speed, once he gets that momentum rolling, he really is like a pretty quick guy. Um, I love his orange glow. Each monster is kind of themed, um, you know, color-wise you've got uh, Kraken blue, Goliath red, Wraith with like the pinky purple, and now Behemoth orange. Um, and we'll get to the attacks in a little bit. They found me, so I'm going to use the many uh, alleyways of this map, the train tracks, to roll myself all the way across. You'll notice I'm playing with the mini-map up, uh, and that's mainly because this is a new map, and I wasn't too familiar with it, and I wanted to make sure that I kept evasion as a priority. I mentioned to you that Behemoth is the hardest monster to play, and that's because in combat it's very tricky to use your combos um, in a way that's able to take out multiple hunters. Behemoth is a powerhouse when it comes to melee. He has the strongest melee of all four monsters, um, but he also has the biggest weak spot. Behemoth's headshot spot is actually on his stomach. In the lore of Sheer, this guy has rock armor around his head, uh, but he doesn't have any on his stomach. I have now been shot with a stasis gun. Uh, and that is a strange new power that you probably have never seen before. We'll get into where that's coming from in a later video. I throw up my rock wall and oh my god. <sighs> the rock wall is probably my favorite ability in the entire game because it is a terrain deforming, environmental changing move. Like you're actually modifying the way the map works and the pathing that the hunters have to take, which I feel is so cool. If I had to describe Behemoth, the way I feel about him is that he changes up the, the rule set and the expectations of what a monster in Evolve was, and it gives me so many ideas for future possibilities of crazy monsters. You're looking at something that moves totally differently, it just breaks the mold in many ways, and I'm not sure that that is going to be like a great thing for tournament players who want to win the most matches, but I think it's very fun and important for the variety of Evolve, uh, because again, Behemoth just... You'll, you'll see, he plays and feels just absolutely unlike anybody else. I'm throwing up the rock wall, and I'm going to get my bubbles bursting. My pustules are pretty big, and we are evolving away. You'll get to see his abilities here. Um, Fissure is probably his main damage dealer, although I feel like Lava Bomb gets very nasty at later levels. Lava Bomb uh, spits out a lava attack um, that leaves one giant searing lava mark and then that splits into multiple other marks now obviously there's direct hit damage uh, but it also puts a fiery 
spot on the ground that will damage the hunters if they're there. Um, one of the new things in... <laughs> I love that move. I've been domed. This is dangerous. One of the new things in this stage is that you're able to eat um, some of those uh, crates that have, like, energy in them as opposed to just wildlife. Now, his Lava Bomb is tricky because once you lock it in, you can't move it. You know how when you hold Goliath's Rock Throw, you can kind of go and and aim until the very last second, uh, or Kraken's Lightning Strike has the ability to really be modified until the final, final moment. Uh, Behemoth locks in early, and in general, you have to be, I feel, more precise with Behemoth than anybody else, and that sounds weird for someone this gigantic, but Behemoth ends up having more skill shots than the other monsters, and this was something that me and the other people uh, who played Behemoth all agreed upon. It wasn't just some crazy theory of my own. Uh, he definitely is tricky to get good with, and it's because he, he struggles with crowd control. Like, I think right off the bat, that's something that you'll notice. Again, great at punishing one hunter. If you can get that rock wall and isolate someone like I did here, um, and you don't lose them, uh, it can be very easy to get the sneak attack. He's got a cool spin animation, and you can just pulverize that puny human. But in terms of messing with more than one hunter, it's pretty tricky. He doesn't have a lot of uh, moves that allow him to transfer from one enemy to another, and I think that's his greatest weakness, is that unless the hunters are grouped, it's very difficult to to take them out. Um, now you'll notice I've bailed here. My health is down a little bit below half. I was expecting Behemoth actually to have more health and armor than he does. For the tank, I felt like his bar should be a little bit higher, and I'm just giving you total transparency on my opinions on the monster. I played him about seven or eight times, uh, so, you know, obviously there's more to learn, um, but these are my, you know, cut and dry, honest opinions uh, and true impressions after a good couple of hours with Behemoth. Um, we're eating up here, and I don't know if I'm just crazy, but it feels like his evolved circle is larger than the other monsters. That's not confirmed, it just it feels like it. Maybe it's because he's so big and slow, I'm just like, oh my god, your belly needs more food. Perhaps it doesn't really, uh, but... We are now back in crouch mode, trying to keep Crow, Slim, Sunny, and Thorvald away from us. I'll be making videos on all of those hunters, uh, so stay tuned for that. Or they may be up already, and you can check them out on my channel. And we are about ready to level up again. Um, he's kind of a monster that wants to use... Ooh, armor regen is going to be good for me here. He's kind of a monster that wants to use his abilities to farm wildlife, so Fissure's a good one. Even the roll is great to roll and then pop out of the roll to feed, so you can get in and out of that roll very easy. I was impressed with his mobility above all else. I think it's so strange that the giant guy has such good uh, movement. You'll see there that's how the Wild Bomb uh, works. It, it, that was a great example. It drops down and then pops out um, smaller versions, but it does get locked in. And so if you're not careful, it's pretty easy for the hunters to avoid. Um, in general, Behemoth's attacks, uh, he has long wind-up periods for all of them. I haven't used the Tongue ability yet, uh, which snatches hunters from afar, but you'll notice that everything has a long wind-up animation. And when he does wind up, he exposes his stomach. So attacking, it becomes dangerous for you just like them. I'm about to get the kill on Assault there, so things are looking good for Behemoth. Another knockdown. And uh, one of the hunters that we're facing off against, Slim actually, has an ability that removes the monster's sense of smell and removes the monster's ability to see outlines. And that's incredibly deadly for Behemoth, because as I mentioned, uh, he does have to queue up and he does, like, take... He has difficulty fighting more than one guy at once, and so you really need to see them. Uh, so that proved to be a punishing combo against Behemoth. But we'll get into how to beat him. Uh, later on. Right now, I'm beating down Slim and grabbing the victory. That gives you a good taste of what Behemoth is all about. Rolling away, engaging, using the rock wall to create confusion and try to isolate hunters. The rock wall sometimes doesn't pop exactly how I would hope it did. Uh, it occasionally gets stuck on geometry, um, or a hunter can break through it, proving really deadly for Behemoth. But again, I still think it's the coolest looking move, and I think Behemoth is a freaking fun monster. I don't know about his balance all yet. We'll have to see how he fares in the wild, but it was so much fun to check this guy out, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching the video. What do you think about Behemoth? Let me know in the comments below, and who do you want to see next? Slim, Sunny, 
Thorvald or Crow, let me know and I'll bring it your way. Hit that like button if you had a good time and are pumped to play Behemoth yourself. He releases on March 31st and I can't wait to get my hands grubby and dirty down with you guys uh, on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, and Steam. Until that time, everybody, fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll bring more Evolve content your way soon. Until that time, though, we will see you all later.